If you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description, and you'll find items such as this. A soy story. All right, so once again, people are talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but not like, oh, is the game going to be about this or that? Oh, no. It's because it's, it's, too, it's too mean. It's too mean. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. So, so journalists... As we've as we've dubbed them, many of us, uh, because they're not really journalists. They're more like uh, you know activists than journalists, and they wanna they wanna bring this to the to the video game market. They want you to get on board. This, this is the reason that video game news sites have been dying, like IGN, all these websites. They're pretty much going out of business because no one needs them anymore. You just go to YouTube, Twitter, stuff like that. No one wants to. No one wants to hear their their agendas written into like what's coming. Why don't you just tell me about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, please? Why don't you give me like some details? What have they announced? Impressions of the game's multiplayer? Like no, no. This this game this game explores great lines. So they get all they get all butthurt and upset about it. It's really ridiculous, and it's and people are sick of it. So here's the thing with these journalists. They don't want to really be in the video game market. They don't even really play video games, most of them. Most of them just want to sit here and write these pieces and talk about Orange Man bad. We've seen this before. My favorite, my absolute favorite article that I that I got to do a video on back in the day was the one on Far Cry 5 or 4. I think Far Cry 5, that's the newest one, right? And because the game takes place in the rural parts of America, it should have focused on the people that voted for Orange Man Bad. And this had people in an uproar, like GameSpot, all of them. I can't believe they didn't touch on it. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was hilarious. These people don't really play video games. It's pretty obvious. They want to work at Washington Post. They want to work at the Wall Street Journal. That's where they want to be. They don't want to be at IGN. They don't want to be at GameSpot. That's just where they're at. I don't even think most of them play video games. When you see them play video games on YouTube, it's always a disaster. Go watch the video. Go watch the video of Polygon tries to play Cuphead. Polygon tries to play Doom. <laughs> they sit there like running against the wall and stuff. Like they can't even make jumps. It's it's obvious that they've never really played games before in their life, and and it really shows. It shows in their articles. I think uh, the fact that their traffic is down in most cases for a lot of these websites. I mean, you hear it all every day about all these websites going out of business. Not so much uh, video game stuff so far, but Gizmodo. I thought Tim Pool did a video on that the other day about how Gizmodo is pretty much being put in on a hold status right now. This is happening every day. All right, so what's going on? What are they mad about this time when it comes to modern warfare? Because... They've been mad about it before. They got mad about it when it first dropped. It's too real. It's too realistic. It's going to make people mad. <laughs> and of course, now, this time, it's one of the streaks in the game, Willy Peak. So Willy Pete is a term from a, it's a WW2 nickname for a white phosphorus. The tool is used in numerous video game franchises like Rainbow Six, Rise of Storm 2 Vietnam, and other titles. On the forthcoming Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it can be summoned by a streak as seen in the latest multiplayer trailer. I have to admit, I actually think this game looks really good. Everything that I've watched for it. The campaign, I'm really kind of interested in. I think it looks pretty pretty fresh. It's like a fresh take for what's going on. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. The multiplayer, we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I skipped... Last year's, I've skipped a few of them because I've just been kind of kind of sick of it. But the campaign in this one alone has me interested enough to play it. So I'm going to check it out. We'll see. You know, we'll see if it's any good or not. You never know. The last campaign I really enjoyed was, uh, what was it? The one where they went back to WW2. I actually liked that campaign a lot. I didn't play much of the multiplayer. I just pretty much played the campaign. I think I played the multiplayer for... A couple of weeks, and then I was just pretty much done with it. I know you have a lot of the dedicated crowd that would keep going all year, but I had had enough there. But the campaign, I thought the campaign for that game was really good. Hopefully this will be good. I think it looks good. I like that they're going back to a more modern time. I'm really sick of the wall jumping and all that stuff. But anyway, let's continue on. 
So, in case you missed it in the video, Willie Pete covers the playing field with white smoke flare, canisters disorienting you or your counterparts, depending on who calls it, and burns anyone who dares to get close. So, this has been, I think this is the same stuff that's in the, uh, the, uh, regular games where you throw it and you get that cough and you can't see very well. This sounds like the same thing as what's in those games, but now it's a big deal. And if anything, I'm more upset that I can't use it and throw it anymore. I, I might be wrong, but I think this is the same thing, right? Isn't it the same thing as, as the frag you throw and disorients people? I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'd like to know. But anyway, in case you missed it, like you're saying, Willie Pete covers the playing field with white smoke flare canisters disorienting you or your county parts, depending on who calls on it and burns anyone that dares to get close. Furthermore, Millie, Willie Pete is in both the single player and multiplayer modes, but game journals, for some reason, have a hard time separating the two, or for that matter, distinguishing that Modern Warfare 2019 is an M-rated video game that is not real. <laughs> this is true because they think all this is real life. It's real life. If you see this person in there, you might do it yourself. <laughs> I cannot stand journalists. The game ones are the worst. But it's not just in video games. Make no mistake. All of the journalists in every form of entertainment are, are like this. Comic books, movies, video games, anime. I mean, look at Anime News Network, the most trusted source for anime news. They're a walking joke. So... So they're just determined to take out every hobby. It's it's really funny to watch this unfold. And it's getting to the point where they're so butthurt that their opinions are getting destroyed, particularly on YouTube, that you know now they just want to go ahead and change the whole game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We want to keep getting what we have to say out there, but you can't. So the biggest thing is this white phosphorus. That's the big that's the big thing they're going after now. And there's a bunch of different people that were writing about it, as you'll see in a second. But we go here, had the headline, Some gamers think white phosphorus is too heinous for Call of Duty. So uh, that means like one person said something on Twitter. And now it's like, ooh, ooh, we can write a whole article on it now. Right, so what are these hot takes here that she has? White phosphorus is a horrible substance that should not be used. And trivializing it is basically a smokescreen and a choke point trap on a video game map feels more than a little icky. If you need a sovereign reminder of what this substance can do to the human body, check out the CDC's description of its effects. <laughs> How come you weren't mad about this last year when the last Call of Duty came out? Just this year? Hmm. Maybe you just want to get on there because people are hyped about it, maybe? Not sure. So we got GameSpot come out here, and they got a hot take, too. Infinity Wars saw criticism for choosing to allow players to use white phosphorus against each other in the game. The inclusion of the weapon also seems at odds with Infinity Wars' stated goals for its single-player campaign. The studio has said it means for Modern Warfare's narrative to be a gritty and realistic. Exploring morality in gray areas, so areas soldiers have to navigate when balancing, completing their missions, and doing the right thing. What? They used this. <laughs> they just used it last year. What over? Uh, I think uh, I forget. They that, but they did because I remember everyone was making a big deal about it. So I just find this funny. They can't separate the single player or the multiplayer campaign, which is is really funny. How is the how is the multiplayer? <laughs> <laughs> How is it at odds with the single? The multiplayer is literally, here's a map, go to town. It's been that way in FPS games and multiplayer forever. I mean, how long until they write articles about, I can't believe these games are using bullets. Bullets is by <laughs> When's that article coming? Because those are a lot more effective than phosphorus and a little bit more lethal too. When's that article coming? I was playing Call of Duty and they had bullets. <gasps> These people are stupid. I guarantee you, you'll see an article. It's time to have a talk about Call of Duty's weapons. <laughs> they should be using air guns. And then it'll be paintball. Watch. I bet you you're going to... You will see that article within the next two years. I promise. We got to have a talk about FPS video games. So, anyway, here we go again. 
So listen to this hot take right here after describing how it works. In the new Modern Warfare, it's effectively a cool toy. Well, shouldn't it be? It's a video game. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the point that you get to use all of these awesome, highly advanced military arsenals <laughs> and you just get to sit on your couch and try them out and have fun? Isn't that the point for it to be a cool toy? <laughs> you don't make any sense, man. This didn't sit with, with some members of the series community. Are you uh, talking about the people that actually play these games or your buddies that you sit around with Starbucks in and complain about stuff all day? You sit down and get a coffee. Orange man bad? Yes, yes, orange man is bad. Yes, I agree. The orange man is bad. That's pretty much all they sit there and talk about. And then give Scar Starbucks a bunch of money while they complain about capitalism, while they're sitting there uh, enjoying capitalism. It's, it's quite funny. It's, it is quite funny. So we go down here. It just keeps going, but you get the point. We go down here. COD single player war is bad and everyone loses. COD multiplayer. Check out this S you can do war crimes with with the new white phosphorus kill streak. What a joke. Look, and it just keeps going. Keeps going. Look at this. The Spec Ops, the line 2012, includes white phosphorus to question why war is used as a guiltless source of fun in video games. And then, oh, the game that actually have people want to play and make tons of money. Boom. I heard Spec Ops was actually a good game, to be honest. I didn't play it, but I heard it was a decent game. So, this stuff is never going to stop. I just wonder, how long is it going to be till you know, GameSpot and all these companies pretty much go under? It has to happen at some point. You would think, right? At some point, they're going to go under, but people keep coming and giving them money. Like, why do all these companies come in and say, oh, hey, failing business model, Here's billions of dollars to keep you rolling. I don't understand that at all. They don't make money. No one's really tuning in. I mean, that's why they have to go and target advertisers now on uh, on Google. Because <laughs> no one wants to go watch their stuff. So, hey, let's get rid of let's get rid of the other opinions. And then maybe people will listen to us finally. <laughs> it's a really weird position to take. But these people are jokes, and it's always fun to make fun of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about all this craziness. Tell me what you think about journalists. Uh, make sure you're still subscribed. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification. I'll give it a slap right on its booty. And check out my links. You'll find, it as, you'll find a link to my Twitch. Check that out. I'm trying to build that platform up. We're almost at 1K subs. Check out, my, check out my Teespring store, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.